Oh. Alright folks, I'm back out and a wee backpacking adventure with Robin. A wee two day trek from Dunbar to Lauda. So we're just coming out of Dunbar now and we're going to take an old right away. It's an old drove route that uh, fishwives used to take the creel off herring to the market in Lauder. It was also used for folk in the Lammermuir Hills who used to walk over and get some salted herring from Dunbar and then take it back. The second part of the walk as well is um, following the Southern Upland Way and that'll take us into Lauder. Tomorrow the weather is there's a westerly coming in and it's to, the winds to pick up so hopefully we should be in Lauder by the time the wind and the rain hits. Onward to spot. Dunhill there. Bellhaven Bay over there and Bass Rock. We thought about a little camp up the hills but the weather was to be atrocious. This is a good plan B isn't it Robin? Yes, definitely. Keep the plan B in the tank. Yes. Keep the good weather. Spring trips for the big days up. The Heelands. Up in the Heelands. I can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> so the original Heron Road goes through the little village of Spot. It's also on the busy road and it batters across the A1 as well. Back in the day, there wasn't a that has the roundabout in the A1. So we're on the alternative route, which is a lovely little cheeky wee route through some lovely scenery, farmland and stuff, yes. Isn't it just lovely? Looks like a wee bird's paradise. Come on you, we got walking to be had. Move it, move it, move it. See the Lama Muir's Hill is proper over there. It'll be 22 mile of walk in, that's gash. Has <laughs> made it up to wind turbine territory now. It'd be so easy to get uh, lost if the clag was down. Tricky to navigate actually. <laughs> Count the turbines, Robin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Tea for tonight is Lidl's herring fillets in a tomato and pepper sauce. I'm just wondering the last time herring has passed through this old right away. Excuse me, I was just about to ask you where the public footpath was. Ding, 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 ding. Well that was a tough wee section, so we're just taking the track down to the road and then into White Adder at Reservoir. So there's Priestler Hill back in uh, November 2020, me and Robin had a wee summit camp up there. Cracking views over to White Adder Reservoir. White Adder Reservoir looking very quiet. I also went up that wee house, Barleton, after I did the camp from Priest Law. Got a nice wee hill that as well.
I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty knackered. Well, it's 20 to 4, sunset is at 4.30. That's us halfway now. 24 kilometre. We've got 24 to go. My car's in Lauder, Robin's car's in Dunbar. To the Scottish borders. Goodbye, Slowden. I'm in no man's land because I'm right in between the two sides. So I can, if you came here, I could kill you. No laws because. You want to start your own government? Aye. This little strip. This little strip of land. Between the borders and East Lothian. Let's do it. So that's me and Robin just pitched at the halfway point. Gonna get the scran on. Knackered. Got the Lanshan Leaning Tower Pyramid Tent with me. And scenes from the Kev Tent household. I've got my wee foil mat from all day Robin gave me a few years ago. Fermanes Neo Extra Light. Thank you Bianca for my Christmas present. Look forward to trying that tonight. I've got my wee Decathlon Pillow Felly. Anti-slip stuff that Murchie's Mountains gave Robin. And Robin cut a bit off and gave it to me. Thank you Robin. And my Alp Kit Pipe Dream 400 with my wee Vietnamese Silk Sleeping Liner. Now I'm going to get my tea on because I'm hungry. On the menu tonight. We have my concoction of pasta. And I can't do the herring road without some herring fillets, of course. Blast from the past, a bit of entertainment while my dinner's cooking. Quite like these, my brother gave me it for my Christmas. The handheld thing. Got uh, quite a few games in it. Take me back to my childhood. Look at that. Look at that, Chef Russell. A herring and pasta wrap. Delicious. Morning folks, as you can hear and see, the wind has picked up big time. It's a... Uh, I don't know, bad sleep last night. It's forecasting a gusty 40 to 50 mile an hour, so... It should be alright, the, the highest will be, will be the day is about 400 odd metres, so... So we've reached one of the high points, 410 metres. We drop down, the next high point is Twin Lock Cairn. So it's quite windy, but it's not the ferocious gusts. Ooh. What? Before the cloud comes in. This is us just descending before we have to do our last climb of the day. There's Darrington Great Law, still to do that one. Quite fancy a wee wild camp up there. If it's not too heathery. Sign, 11 mile, 18 kilometre to Lauder. Let's get our fingers out and move. Disappearing. Over you come, old man. Tired old legs. Oh. 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 At 447 metres we're at the summit of Twin Law Cairns, the highest point. So now it's a, about 8 mile back to Lauder up and down. 
nice wee sheltered spot this, eh? Not enough room for two robins round the hiding from the wind at the side of the cairn. It's lovely in here. Lovely. Robin, what's the time? Wrap a First wrap of the year, eh? Aye, we never had one back at the twin cairn, eh? It was too windy. Okay. Yes. Have you? Aye, let's get a wrap in. Yeah. There's a wrap in my kitchen, what time am I going? The Southern Upland Way comes down there and go, comes across. No, no, no. But we followed the Herring Road because we had corn, we couldn't be bored climbing. Do you know what we should do? We should wrap these up and sell them. Wrapping chips. Wrap o'clock chips. The wrap o'clock burger van. Macro no. van. Kevin and Robin's macro wrap connoisseurs. Let's call it walrus. <laughs> This will be the final climb of today. Lodder in the distance. Here we go. Finally, Lodder. Let's made it to Lodder. Both pooped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Next time.